your CIG TV News update. I'm Donna Bush. Glad you could join us. Councillor Austin Harris will leave this Saturday for training in London in his position as Whip of the Government of National Unity. A press release from the Premier's office says Mr. Harris was invited to Westminster to understudy the Whip's office in the House of Lords and House of Commons to gain a comprehensive understanding of the role as Whip. As both the constitutional and legislative processes in the Cayman Islands continue to evolve, it is important that members receive the necessary training and exposure to enable the effective operation of government and parliament, said Premier the Honorable Alden McLaughlin. During sittings of the Legislative Assembly, it is the Whip's job to ensure government legislators attend voting sessions and both understand and vote according to government policy. Mr. Harris thanked the Premier for his confidence in appointing him to the post of government Whip. It is a tremendous opportunity, said Mr. Harris. Meantime, in other news, the Economics and Statistics Department has extended the deadline of its occupational wage survey to the 31st of January. The OWS collects data regarding employment, remuneration, and qualifications of employees. It covers government agencies, businesses, the self-employed, and households with employees. And the interviews are confidential and in accordance with the statistics law. No individual data will be published or disclosed for further information on any aspect of the survey. You can contact the ESO hotline on 516-3329. That's 516-3329. Finally, the Department of Children and Family Services is helping older persons on Kim and Brack gain more confidence. Three participants are uh, taking the free hour-long classes, which started recently, held once a week at the Kim and Brack Library. The classes are taught by a DCFS social worker and course content includes training in keyboard skills and introduction to the internet how to set up email accounts how to send and receive emails basic social networking microsoft word excel and powerpoint both classes uh, were made possible by the donation of two computers by the national council of voluntary organizations which were refurbished by simply computers other residents assisted in shipping the computers to the BRAC now, the hopes are to roll out the program here on Grand Cayman and on Little Cayman for our older persons. Local business owners can help make this possible. If you'd like to help uh, put in place such a program for the elderly here on Grand Cayman or Little Cayman, you can contact Ms. Ferguson at the Department of Children and Family Services. The number to call is 244-7306. That's 244-7306. Well, if you missed today's news update, you can go to the Cayman Islands Government Facebook page or the CIG Television YouTube channel. For now, I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining me this week, hoping you'll do the same again next week. But until then, have a safe and wonderful weekend. And as I always say, bye-bye for now.